Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back. My name is Erin and today I have my final update for my rolling 10 pan project pan for 2023. I have one more month of use on these products and then we will have the finale. I am very, very excited. I do have two rollouts and a replacement for today. So we will have three new products rolling into the project and also some really exciting updates as far as will I be able to finish some of these long haul products by the end of the year. So without a whole lot of rambling, I am going to go ahead and jump into, let's do my rollouts. And I think next year, I think what I'm going to have in my brain is that I will do my rollouts, I'll do my progress, and then I'll do my roll-ins. And I'll do that consistently across all of my videos so that I am not bouncing around every other video. But the first rollout that I have, and this one surprised me a little, but this is my e.l.f. Camo Concealer. So I did roll this in just last month. It was the only concealer in my collection. When did I purchase this? I only purchased this in September, so it took me a total of 52 uses in this project, or really just uses in general, 52 uses to get this used up. That's not a whole lot of usage. And so again, the font is very small, but I'm trying to see how much is actually in here. I'm pretty sure it says 0 0.7 fluid ounces. I don't know how that stacks up against other concealers. I figured with this being a relatively big component, but the fat doe foot does take up quite a bit of space in the actual packaging. So I enjoy this concealer when I need one, but for only 52 uses, I don't know if it's necessarily worth me repurchasing this versus purchasing a more high-end concealer that takes me longer to use up. But this is rolled out. So last month we were at 28.77 grams. Now we're at 24.68 grams. So I used it 21 times. So every single time I did makeup in November and I ended up using 4.0 grams of this. Once I actually like pulled out the stopper and scraped everything out of here, I was using this a little bit as a foundation just because I was trying to get it done. So that's a lot of concealer to go through in one month, but I was taking it a little bit more around my face. I was having a little bit more breakouts on my neck in November, so I was bringing it down my neck as well. But overall, this is out of my collection. The next empty that I have is my e.l.f. Halo Glow. And this was in the original formula. So this was shade number one fair, but they have changed their shade range since they introduced some more light shades and some more deep shades. But this was one that I had purchased earlier this year. And you guys can see I have a lot of progress marks all the way down the side of it. I did take the stopper out of this one and scraped it out the best that I could. It has the huge doe foot. And I think you guys had talked about in the comments that you wanted to see how the stopper came out of this one. And I just have a little washcloth because I'm going to wipe this off. But I'm just going to pull it out here. I don't have time to film another short or set up my camera to where it's pointing down. So I have my pliers that I only use for makeup. I only use them for makeup. So please don't come at me in the comment section about me using tools, but um, I sanitize these with alcohol anytime that I'm going to use them. But this is going to just be cleaned out and put in my empties, so I'm not worried about um, really sanitizing right now. But I go ahead and I get the stopper, and I'm going to try to not... So that it's relatively easy because this stopper, and I'm going to wipe it off one more time. The stopper is very rubbery, so it's not one of the like hard plastic stoppers that it's hard to get out, but it does flange out at the base here. So when you are trying to pull these out, if you can get in there and pinch it at all, that might help bring it out. Um, anytime that I take out a stopper, I grab one side and I kind of rock it 
out of, not rocket like a rocket ship, but rocket like a rocking chair. I rock it out of the um, container, but just be mindful that it does have a little lip down here at the bottom that keeps it in the actual packaging. And so just to put it back in, I kind of squeeze it a little bit, get it in there, and it pops back into place. So if you're looking to decant this or clean this out and use it for something else, it is relatively easy to get the stopper out of this one. But with this, I had just rolled this in last month, no, two months ago. Yes, so I did track between October and November with this one. This was also in my deck of panning for three months of use. So this has been in quite a few projects this year. And so what, what were we at? I think we were here when I rolled it in in the beginning of October. So that was October's usage. And then this was the beginning of November and that was all I had left down there. So the weights for this one last month, I was at 109.94 empty. We are at 106.69. I only had to use it 10 more times and it was 3.25 grams. Again, once I scraped it out, I wasn't necessarily getting the same precise like measurement as I usually dipped it in twice and put it on my palette to mix with my foundations. So once I decanted this, I was kind of just like taking a little bit of my spatula and scooping a little bit out of a container. So I think that I got this done in fewer uses with a lot of like grams difference, mainly because I probably was using more of this than I am used to but I am okay with that. It's a beautiful product. I have already repurchased if you guys caught my buys and buys from last month, and I'll make sure to link that up in the eye as well. And those were my two rollouts. So those are two more empties that I can add to my stash and to my numbers for the end of the year. So the product that I'm gonna end up rolling out, and I mentioned this in my Get Ready With Me, and also in, what was my last video that I did? Oh, my 24 in 2024, so my plan to pan. I will make sure everything is linked I or down below. But I am rolling out my Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Grip Makeup Primer. It has a million names on the front of this thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out. Something about this product is not meshing well with my foundation that I'm using right now. Anytime that I used this and the foundation, my makeup and my skin texture just looked cakey and rough and kind of just like already kind of separated from each other. And so something about this was not working. So I did try a different primer in my collection and that makes the finish of this foundation look beautiful and I am more concerned with using up the foundation that I'm using right now because that is two years old whereas this is like four months old. So I'm okay with putting this back in my collection working on this when I am working on a different foundation so that is what I'm doing with this one. Since I did just roll it in last month, we were at 39.17. We're now at 32.88. I used it 16 times in November for 6.29 grams of use. It's filled with air again, so it's gonna look full. It's gonna look about the same, but I was able to use over six grams of this. So this will go back into my drawers and I'll pull this out in the summertime once I am done with my foundation. All right, let's go ahead and get into my progress items. And so I always go from the items that have been rolled in the longest. I do have a couple that have been rolled in for the entire year. So I am hopeful that I'll be able to get some of these wrapped up. But the first one that I have been working on is my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. And so this one, I don't know. I will of course have my B-roll coming up, but let's see if you guys can see this. Can you see how little product is left in the bottom of that container? I am feeling so good about this. I, if this lasts past the end of December, I will be completely shocked and I will sing this product's praises 
for that little amount lasting more than a month. I started using this paint pot in August of last year. And I used it every single time I did my makeup in 2023 so far. So this is an absolute bargain. I thought about picking it up again. It was, I bought this during the 21 Days of Beauty, what, two, three years ago? And then I think they had it again in the fall for the 21 Days of Beauty this year. I thought about picking up another one, but I have, an, I have two other eyeshadow primers that I need to get through. And with this one taking a year and a half, I was like, I can't have it sitting in my collection for another two years. If I finish up my other ones and I want to go back to this, or if I'm missing it severely, then I will go back to this. But I love how this blanks out my eyelids. I do have very fair skin, so you can see all of the veining in my eyelids. So this does a beautiful job of just having a blank canvas for my eyeshadow looks. But for weights for this, last month we were at 49.49. This month we are at 48.9. I did use it 21 times and I used up 0 0.59 grams. So that is more than what I had been using before, but I think I said in one of my videos that I have also been using this as a spot concealer for the acne on my chin and on my neck. It does a beautiful job of just blanking out everything. It blends in so it's not, again, it doesn't look like built up concealer and it has enough pigmentation that it covers the redness. Um, I also had a really bad breakout of KP on my arm and my arm looked like I had been like eaten up by fire ants. And it did a really good job of me being able to cover the spots on my arm and feel a little bit more comfortable with that because it really did look bad. So I was able to repurpose a little bit of this product. So that's why I ended up getting more use on it this month compared to the other ones. But let's all cross our fingers that I get that used up by the end of the year. The next item has also been in here all year long, and that is my Tarte and I never really know what it is, Skin Twinkle Volume 2 Lighting Palette. But really the shades that I was working on are actually the Fenty Mean Money and Hustler Baby uh, Duo that are the kilowatt highlighters because I did have them repressed and this is what we're looking like right now. I'm trying not to blind you guys with the lights so I'm angling the, the palette a little bit different. But look at that huge pan, beautiful. I will link my repressing video with this. I did show you guys how I repress and I did a split pan repressing into this shade. So the more intense shade is on this side and the more subtle is on this side. I kind of did a diagonal pan on this, but I've just been kind of using them together. I wanted to wait until I film this video to repress it again. I am going to repress it and just mix everything together and get it to the middle of the pan. I've also been able to expand the pan on this one as well. So this shade here is actually these two pans from the original palette, these two pans mixed together. This pan here was originally a, a darker highlighter, which I understand they wanted to make sure that they had highlighters in here across skin tones. But when I'm, and this one was a really, really icy like white highlighter. So when I mix them together, I ended up with this beautiful, cool toned highlighter. And it's absolutely, would we call that champagne? But it's beautiful. So I've had a lot of cool tone looks kind of like what I have going on today. I'm wearing the pastel palette because I have that palette rolled into a deck of painting prompts. So I do have some shades on my eyes today from that palette, but I am loving this formula. I still don't think that I'll have this used up by the end of the year. I there's I think there's too much highlighter in there for me to meet that goal, but I'm okay with that. I, I'm still loving the products in here. I don't mind if that rolls over because really that will be a highlight that I can check off as an empty for next year. So it won't bother me. I'm not going to be upset that I didn't hit that goal because I've been able to make extremely amazing progress on this so far this year. But with this palette, we were at, 
116.4 last month. We're at 115.67. Um, I've used this 24 times. I, I did my makeup 21 times, but I have 24 times for this palette marked down in my book. So I don't know if I like did a reapplication and marked that down as an extra use. I know there was a couple times when like I would highlight up my like collarbones and my shoulders. I don't know if I put an extra tally. I'm gonna call it 21 to 24 uses. All I know is I did my makeup 21 times in November. So take the numbers for what it is. But I did use up 0.73 grams of this product, which has been pretty on par since the last time I repressed this. But I'm gonna repress this again once I'm done filming and hopefully I'll be able to get more progress done on that palette. The next item that I have is my ColourPop Lippy Pencil, and this is in another round. And that is all I have left of it. Let's see, will my camera focus? Yep, look at that, that's all I have left. I love it. So that is, of course, my mark, the black mark. That is where I am going to be finished with the product. That's where my other ColourPop Lippy Pencils have stopped. So I only have that much left. I'm pretty sure that by the time I sharpen this maybe three or four more times, the rest of the product is just going to fall out. The actual product in here has been loose since I rolled it into the project. Um, when did I start working on this? I rolled this in at the end of May. So I think I started using it consistently in June. So since I rolled this in, the product has been loose in there. So I'm... 98% confident that this will be an empty by the end of the year and that will mean that I have used up two lip pencils this year which is incredible so happy about the progress on this I don't mark uses because basically again I did my makeup 21 times so I used this 21 times but last month this was weighing in at 4.33 now we're at 3.88 so I did use up 0.45, which again is on par with the uses that I've been able to get over the last couple months. So crossing our fingers that this will be an empty on the finale. This next product will look a tad bit different and it is because I did repress it and that is my Benefit Dallas Blush. So I did already hit pan again since repressing it, but that's just because there is so little powder left in here. Of course, this is repressed. This is in a different pan. It's in one of my Makeup Geek compacts. And so my goal has been to use this 10 times. And I'm sure if you guys watched my 24 and 24, me holding a repressed blush like this might make you guys nervous. Go watch that video if you want to see what I'm talking about. I mentioned in my plan to pan video that I think I'm going to put this away at the end of December and work on another blush and then bring this back out in the summer and fall because I love this bronzy toned blush. But this is my oldest blush. I want to get this done next year, but I have enjoyed having it in the project in the fall. But last month we were at, and I am just weighing the pan alone, so 6.3 grams, now we're at 5.99. I did only use it nine times last month, and so shame on me, I missed one time using it, but I did use 0.31 grams, which is pretty much on par with what I have been able to use on this blush. So. I see the light at the end of the tunnel, and so I'm excited about having this as a blush empty for next year. Next, I have the lipstick that just won't quit. So this is the Marc Jacobs Lipstick in Infamous, and this is where I am at. I mean, I'm of course, I'm working down on it. I'm, I'm getting to the point where it's, it's looking loved. It's looking a different shape. But I consistently, about every two months is when I can actually make a new line in my journal. Um, of course, I will have all my graphics and my B-roll and all that stuff popping up like you guys know that I do so you can get some up-close looks at these products. 
but I, I'm still having trouble reaching for this lipstick. I just have some other more comfortable lip products that I've been enjoying a whole lot more than this. But of course, this is one of my focuses for next year as well. But last month we were at 40.69, now we're at 40.59. So I used 0 0.1 grams of this product. So slow but steady, I'm plucking away at it but definitely this needs to be a focus for next year. I need to kind of get my butt in gear, but a little bit at a time. Then I have my Laura Mercier caviar stick, and this is in strapless. This was in the birthday gift from Sephora from last year, and it's this beautiful kind of taupey bronze shade. Let me do a little bit of a swatch so that that's it right there. Ooh, it catches the light beautifully, but I do have to be careful rolling it up all the way because it does, it's weak at the base. I keep having to push it back down, but that is all I have left of this one. Look at that. Beautiful. Now you'll see by my graphic that I'm not going to use this up by the end of the year. I'm kind of okay with that because I do really enjoy this product, but I'm not going to use it up. There's no way I can use that am amount up by the end of the year. My goal has been to use this 10 times a month. Um, I was only able to use it seven. And again, I think because I was wearing purple looks, I was wearing cool tone looks, this didn't really, I mean, it is cool tone and it is beautiful, but this has not been something that I've been incorporating into my more colorful looks. This is something that I will use on a more neutral look. But let's see here. I was at 6.92 last month. I'm now at 6.85, so 0 0.07 of a difference. Again, I was only able to use it seven times, but the month before I used it 12, so it all equals out. But this will definitely be dropping it on the floor. That will be rolling into 2024 with me. That's not a bother whatsoever. But you guys let me know, do you want me to roll that into my 2024 project pan or do you want me to just pan it in the background and you'll see it in an empties video? Well, let me know what you guys want me to do. And the last progress item that I have before we have my roll-ins is my foundation. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So... This is the main focus for my foundation until it is gone. So this will be rolling into 2024 with me. That's why I can't switch up my foundation because I'd rather switch out the primer. So this needs to get used up before the SPF completely goes bad. But as you guys can see with my line markings, we were at the very tippy top and I made a pretty decent jump. So that is my usage for November. With this product, I was at 127.95 when I first rolled it in. Now we're at 120.1. I used it 21 times for 7.85 grams worth of use. I do use two pumps of this mixed with the e.l.f. Halo Glow, and I absolutely love this. If you want to see this in action, again, I will link my last Get Ready With Me because I did use this foundation. This is the more dewy of the Shiseido Synchro Skin foundations, and so being able to use this in the wintertime when it's not as humid, even though it's raining for the past three days. <laughs> so, but it's, it's a cold rain rather than like the Florida hot, humid rain if you've ever been down here in the summertime. So this is working out perfectly for me for this time of the year. I really do love the Shiseido foundations, but I think once I'm done with this one, I do want to try something out. So if you guys have oily skin, if you have God, mature skin, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for 40. <laughs> but if you have mature skin, lines, wrinkles, things like that, that foundations can settle into, let me know what your holy grail foundations are down below and i'll see what foundation i want to pick up next year so we have our roll-ins so let me go ahead and do the replacement product if you guys know anything about my collection the only primers that i have in my collection right now 
is the hard candy one and then these babies. So this is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop. I did pick up four of these when e.l.f. re-released them in August. I will pick up more if e.l.f. brings them out again. Um, but this works beautifully with the Shiseido foundation. My skin looks smooth. It doesn't look broken up. It doesn't look textured. Beautiful. So e.l.f., bring this back permanently. Don't do this to us, please. <laughs> so I've used up plenty of these in the past. I'm very familiar with this product, but it really is the only other primer that I have in my collection to roll in. So we are starting with 46.65. Now I did use this about four or five times in November, but I am starting my weights when I'm rolling it into this project on December 1st. So that is when I am starting our numbers, but I did have a few uses on this prior. So it's already kind of getting pinched in a little bit. This is one of those airless pumps, but I love this product. Puppy dogs, I locked them out today because they think that underneath my tripods are jungle gyms, but this will roll into 2024 with me. I know how long it takes me to use these up. I love them and I'm very thrilled to be able to be using one of these right now. My next roll-in is going to be a kind of replacement also, but I have my new bottle of the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I do have this one in Fair One, and it's Neutral Peach is the like undertone and shade of this one. And so this is a different color than the Fair Number One that I had before. Puppy is so upset. If I get through this quickly, I will grab him and I'll hold him up, even though he is extremely heavy now. I'll hold him up so you guys can see him. You're okay, Washburn. You don't need to be in here right now. I'll get you in a minute. Break my heart. But this was brand spanking new when I started using it in November. But my mark that I'm putting up here is where I'm at at the beginning of December. So basically that little tiny bit at the top there, that would have been my uses in November. Love this product. Have I, I don't think I've ever swatched these on my hand for you guys. Because it's just, can you even see it? Yeah, it'll catch the light a little bit. It is just one of those liquid highlighters. I love mixing it in with my foundation. It is a good kind of shade match for me. It actually lightens up the foundation on me a little bit, which is what I need because that foundation is a little bit dark for me in the winter time. But with this one, we are rolling it in and we are starting at 140.75 grams. And that's where we're starting. This probably is going to roll into my 2024 project pan because I think it would be so satisfying to see this get used up next year. But you guys let me know what you think about watching me pan this next year because it would take me the majority of the year to go ahead and pan this. Or would you rather me just pan it in the background and roll it into uses from time to time? Y'all let me know what your thoughts are. The last roll-in that I am going to bring into this project is the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. I do have this in shade R2. It is a very good shade match for me, and I opened this up on December 1st. So the e.l.f. concealer got me all the way through November, so this was brand spanking new whenever I cracked it open. I'm filming this on the 2nd. So I've only used this two times, so this was brand spanking new. So when I pulled this one out of the box, it was 38.72 grams. That's what we're starting with. I haven't really developed my thoughts and feelings on this yet. I might have to do like a roundup review or kind of reflecting on the products. Actually, I just saw Steph from It's Just Steph. I just saw her do a video. I watched it today, but she was reflecting on all the purchases that she made in 2022. But I think that I want to maybe like touch on like the top 10 purchases from 2023. If I do that video and this makes it into the top 10, I'll definitely have to give you guys my opinion. But I'll also try to do another get ready with me soon and y'all will be able to see this in action because this has been a holy grail for some people and others really do not like it. 
So we will see what I think about this one, but my goal is to finish this. This will roll into my 2024 project pan just because I want to track this. I want to be able to use this up to completion and I want to be able to track the progress with you guys. So those are my 10 items that I'm going to be working on in December and then I will have my finale. I've been posting my project pan videos on the fifth of the month. It just gives me time to be able to film and edit. I think I'm gonna to continue to do that. I might do my finale and my new project all in one video, or if I break it into two videos, I'll post my finale like the day before my like new project pan. Um, so if you wanna see it in two videos, let me know down below. Of course, I am refreshing this. There is gonna be some products that are going to roll over and I'm gonna to continue to use them because I only use one foundation and one concealer at a time. But let me know what you guys want to see as far as two videos versus one video um, and how you guys want me to break it down. But let me roll into my Pan That palette real quick. I am panning the ColourPop Give It To Me Straight and I don't have it here with me because I actually depotted all the shades. Last update, I let you guys know that the two maroon shades in there did give me an eye reaction. It was painful, my eyelids were swollen for days. So I am not touching those shadows anymore. So I did go ahead and depot the rest of the shades into this little Z palette. And is it just me? Y'all tell me if it's just me and maybe OCD tendencies that I have, but this makes me so upset. The fact that these are smaller pans and they don't fit in here perfectly and there's that gap, I'm like, how can I find the perfect nine pan that these will fit into so that my brain doesn't short circuit with this? But that is my own issues. But I was, as you guys can see, I was able to hit pan on all of these shades and my cream colored shade is still in my Makeup Geek Compact. I repressed this again and it is so, so thin in there. And it is, if this lasts me past December, I'll be so, so surprised. When you guys talked about wanting to pan ColourPop palettes next year, and it's like, oh, well, how hard is it to pan ColourPop eyeshadows? And I basically was like, I've been panning a cream shade that I go heavy on my lid every single day, and I put it on my eyes up to my brow bone, and this is rolling into December. I still have that much left. I've been panning this one cream shade all year round. So that's how long it takes to pan a ColourPop shade. This is going to be my next cream shade that I'm gonna end up rolling in, so I wanted to just go ahead and throw it into this palette, but that is the progress that I've been able to make. I maybe have reached into these a couple more times, but once I hit pan on these, they, they were no longer my goal. I'm really trying to do the last stretch on my No Pan Left Behind, shameless plug. I'll link it up there, and I am getting so, so close. So we are crossing our fingers for my no pan left behind. I did pick a new pan that palette for 2024. Again, go watch my plan to pan video if you guys are curious. But right now, let me go grab a puppy so that you guys can see him. I'm sure he's right outside my door. Oh, he's wet from being outside. Oh, he's hard to pick up now. So there's Mr. Washburn. Bigger than my, bigger than me, bigger than my torso, bigger than my head. I know, the lights are very bright, aren't they, baby? Are the lights bright? Here's a little boy, though. You okay? Can you show him your ears? Can you show him your ears? How your ears stick up? You're not in trouble. You a good boy. He says the lights were too bright for him to look at, but his ears are completely up and they're sticking up straight. And I know that there's like a certain point when Shepard's like, his ears are sticking straight up. But I think as he continues to grow and his ears get bigger also, I think they'll end up flopping back together. And that is my favorite stage of like German Shepherd puppy ears is when their ears start to grow again and then they flop and they kind of like, have to hold each other up so 
That is my favorite part. I can't wait for that. So that was my last update for my rolling 10 pan for 2023. I will have my finale coming up after I am able to get all of December's uses. I will go all the way to the end of the year because I want to give myself every possible chance to use some of these products up. But I'm very, very happy with my progress so far and everything that I've been able to accomplish through this year. I will make sure during my finale also to go over all of the items that I was able to use up in this project. I think I will actually be at 23 items that I was able to complete in this project by the end of the year. I'm pretty sure, but I will review those in the finale. But also I want to say how much I appreciate you guys for watching my videos and commenting and telling me how you're doing in your project pans, letting me know what you guys were able to hit goals on. I absolutely love it. I think that it is such a celebration of mindfulness in my comment section. So you guys are absolutely fantastic. I love that so many people have found my channel this year and that I have been able to stick to this with my busy schedule. So you guys make it worth it and you guys keep me going every single update. So I really do appreciate you. And I hope you guys know how excited I am every single time I sit down to film a video and give you guys an update because you guys are also so encouraging to me. So the biggest, biggest thank you to you guys. Of course, I want to remind everybody to do all the things. Hit that thumbs up button. Let me know that you guys are liking my content. Everyone is always so good with leaving me a comment and letting me know how you're doing. And of course, I want to encourage you also to subscribe. There is so many people out there that watch my videos that are not subscribed. So I will remind you, go ahead, hit that button, hit the bell so that you know whenever I upload and you don't miss any of my updates. You're going to want to stick around for December because I have so many wrap ups and finales and inventories and budget things coming out. So please make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on all the fun content that's coming out in December. But otherwise, I want to wish you guys a beautiful day and I will catch you in my next one.